from the home screen, I want to go to the apps menu. I'm going to go ahead and select the apps menu, which says apps in purple. Again, notice how it record, recorded that keystroke here. So if you do get stuck sometime during the video, you can pause this and then recreate my keystrokes to get yourself caught up. Now it brought up all the applications. They're listed alphabetically. I want to get down to probability simulator in the P's. If I use the down arrow key to move the highlighted cursor through my choices, it's going to take me a while. So instead, I'm going to use alpha followed by P, which is above the number 8. That will get me down to the P's in the alphabetical listing. Now I see that probability simulator is in the middle of my screen. I will use my down arrow so that I've selected it and then I hit enter to enter the probability simulator. It says press any key so I hit enter again. There are several several different simulators. I'm going to show you toss coins. One is already highlighted so I'm going to go ahead and choose OK by pressing the gray button directly beneath OK in the menu. You can see that we have the setup for a bar graph for recording tails and heads, but I want to go ahead and check the settings with you to make sure that your settings are the same as mine. I'm going to select the gray button directly below set to check the settings. We want the settings to read just like mine. One, if yours doesn't say one, you can just type any of the number keys over it, and if yours says five right now, you can change that to one. This is the number of times the program will toss the coin when you hit the toss button. Now the number of coins, we want to toss just one coin. If you're on something other than one, you'll need to use your arrow key. Let's down arrow first to the coins line. Now I can use my arrow key and I can highlight the other choices. If I wanted to select one of those, I would hit enter. But now I'm on two, I wanted one, so I'm going to back up to one and now hit enter. That allows me to change these settings. I also want the frequency. That will give me that frequency bar graph that we saw just being established when we entered this. I'm going to leave all the other settings. It will record the values in a table, but we're not going to see the table today. I've got them set how I want, so I will hit OK. And now I'm ready to toss the coin. So I'll hit toss by hitting the gray button beneath it. And there's that coin. I got tails. And notice that there's a bar now in the tails side of that table in the bar graph. So I'll hit the right arrow. The right arrow moves the cursor on top of that bar and it says frequency of one. Well, that's because I just tossed one coin and got tails. If I hit plus one again, it'll toss the coin again. This time I got heads and there's the bar on heads. I can go ahead and use the right arrow again to verify that I've got one in the tails and one in the heads. If you want to start this over, you can hit clear. I'm going to go ahead and hit clear. Do you want to continue? Yes. I just cleared those trials. Let's go ahead and, and have the calculator toss the coin 10 times. It'll show you the first and then it's going to record the others over here. I'm going to use my right arrow to verify that it tossed it 10 times. Notice I've got frequency of 5 there and frequency of 5 there for a total of 10. Let me show you how to change it to two coins. I'm going to choose escape and then set. I'm going to use my down arrow to get to 2, so down and then over to 2, enter to select. I leave everything else and I hit OK. Are you sure you want to continue? It's going to clear the trials for one coin and that's fine, so I go ahead and hit yes. Now I've got this set up for zero heads, one head, two head. Zero heads would be both tails, one head would be tails, heads, or heads tails. Two heads would be heads heads. Let's go ahead and toss and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and hit that button. I missed it. So I'll toss it and the first result is heads tails. Let's go ahead and toss it ten times. It's going to record that data and just like before you could move the arrow to see what's being recorded. 